welcome back, fam. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. I don't know how much time I got, but I'm, we're going to pray and get through this reading out loud today. Psalm chapter 39. I pray y'all doing good compared to yesterday, actually. Yeah, I think I'm out here lying to you, man. When God bless you to be a Warner Brothers, double, double, W B. Hey, this, this ain't just about frogs jumping around telling you stuff. Now, this is about a brown skin brother seeing evil and wickedness and trying to tell you, go the opposite direction. Every time, man, in Jesus Christ's name. And let the Lord tell you, go through it with him and the Holy Spirit and his son. Don't do it without them three, man. God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Even the demons know, man. They know, man. In Jesus' name, amen. So, pray y'all good. If not, we about to get good and keep it good and make it great, according to the Lord Jesus Christ and his riches and glory, right? Let's pray and get it through. Father God, thank you, Lord, for waking us up again. We come to you humbly. But boldly, thanking you for loving us, giving us another gift called today's. And I pray for those who are unappreciative of I pray you convict them through this prayer to be appreciative right now. With the knowledge they don't know about you, may they have a fear of, of, of searching for wisdom, which is bigger than their own life. You know what I'm saying? So I pray, Lord, that. Whatever hurt they going through, may your word, as we read it out loud, hit them in that dark place and make it clear and visible. You are the healer, and you heal. And you never stop healing those who call on Jesus. And I pray that with each healing comes rejoicing. Thankfulness, gratitude, generosity of the heart, not just for materialistic things, but for the spiritual gifts, the spiritual fruit of our Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus. We thank you for every gift you bestowed in us and upon us and before our past. That those that those who are in need of restoration, reconciliation, um, reassuring that they have a purpose and that you love them, Lord, please use this prayer to convict them. It's the confirmation right there in here that the devil is a liar and Jesus is Lord and Savior and that God is the Father of all living. All creation, all thoughts, movement, everything. Thank you, Lord, for everything, including our breathing. You have the power to put our light, our light out, but you choose to give us mercy and keep the light on. And I pray we are abiding in obedience to your word and will to keep that light on and shining bright and bright and bright wherever. The darkness is, may that light shine. And may those around us, including the viewer and the listener, paying attention to this prayer, that word for word, it will stir them up, encourage them, motivate them, inspire them to draw closely to you, Father. Nothing less. So that they will have a clear understanding that their whole being belongs to God, the fact Jesus is Lord. The Holy Spirit is the comfort in our depression, hurting, neglected, abandoning, feeling alone, feeling low. The Holy Spirit always comforts us, reminds us that our Holy God is watching us waiting for us to call on him so he can get us out that situation. Better yet, instead of getting us out, he downloads wisdom and knowledge when we ask him, 
calling so that we don't have to be scared feeling uh beat down and left for dead because he is alive, active and always ready to save his children, nothing less. So I pray in this prayer, Lord, that those who are listening and viewing, may all their unbelief come to naught and may their belief start to spark, not just under my voice, but everything going along a mind under my words so that they know this is no joke. That you are real. And the devil is fake. Always have been and will be. And we thank you, Lord, for making yourself clear and visible to those who calling you with a sincere heart, genuine, looking for their thoughts who left and continue to give life in all he does. Nothing less. Please, may they be healed listening to this. Nothing less. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank God. Amen again. Cookie. All right, here we go. Psalm chapter 39. Uh, and another one. Another one. Okay, so y'all there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's, 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 a, it's, it's raining. Over here, it's raining over here. It's raining. Raining. Alright, All right, so, y'all ready? Psalm chapter 39, family. Title, title. A prayer for self understanding. To the chief mu- musician, comma, even to Jeduthun, comma, a psalm of David. I pray I pronounce that right. If not, forgive me. Okay, verse 1. I said, comma, I will take heed to my ways, comma, that I sin not with my tongue. Colon, I will keep my mouth with the breath, bridle, comma, while the wicked is before me. Three, verse two, I will dumb with silence, comma, I held my peace, comma, even from good, semicolon. And my sorrow was third, period. Verse 3. My heart was not within me. Semicolon. While I was musing, the fire burned. Colon. Then spake I with my tongue. Comma. Verse 4. Lord, comma, make me to know mine end. Comma. And the measure of my days. Comma. What it is. Semicolon. That I may know how frail I am. Period. Verse 5. Behold, comma, thou hast made my days as a handbreadth, semicolon, and mine age is as nothing before thee. Colon. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Period. Salah. Period. Verse 6. Surely every man walketh in the vain show. Semicolon. Surely they are disquieted in vain. Colon. He heapeth up riches, comma, and knoweth not who shall gather. Period. Verse 7. And now, comma, Lord, comma, what wait I for? Question mark. My hope is in thee. Period. Verse 8. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. Period. Verse 9. I was dumb, comma. I opened not my mouth, semicolon, because thou did this, because thou didst it. Period. I pray I did that right here. Verse 10. Remove thy stroke away from me, colon. I am consumed by the blow of thine hand. Period. Verse 11. When thou with rebuke dost correct man for iniquity, comma, thou makest his breath, thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth, colon, surely every man is vanity, period. Salah, period. Verse 12, hear my prayer, comma, O Lord, 
Simon, and give ear unto my crack. Semicolon. Hold not thy peace at my tears, Colin, for I, for I am a stranger with thee, Colin, and a sojourner, Colin, as are my fathers were. Period. Verse 13. Oh, spare me, Colin, that I may recover strength, Colin, before I go hence, Colin, and be no more. Period. Wow, that's Wow, that's the end of Psalm chapter 39. That, that was the short one. 11 verses, 13 verses. 13 verses. Wow. Man. Wow. Let me read it to y'all. Make sure I say, remember I said, uh, to the chief musician, comma, even to Jadithan, comma, a Psalm of David. Now, I'm looking in the footnotes, right? Let me read it to y'all. Psalm 39. Period. Y'all do think. It got quote unquote superscription, which probably Ethan, comma, the well known director of the Temple Choir, quote unquote, see the note on First Chronicles chapter 6, verse 31 through 48, on your own time. Period. Period. The psalm is composed of three key parts. Period. First, comma, the psalmist suppresses his complaint to God until he can contain it no longer. Verse 1 through 3. Okay. Second, comma, when he can contain, um, second, when he can't contain himself no more, comma, he utters his cry of distress, comma, centering in the innate frailty of man, which he feels at present so acutely. Verse 4 through 11, quote unquote, period. Finally, comma, he presents his petition to God, comma, who will certainly regard his tears and spare him. So basically, bam, believers and unbelievers, What you give is what you get. That's how God created his creation, to revert back to his goodness. But those who refuse his goodness, you're going to see the ugliness of who you really are when you don't believe the one who created you for his glory. You feel me? Now, if I ain't making sense to you, get on your knees in your secret place, ask for the Holy Spirit, to confirm what I'm saying to you. Make it clear to you before you get up and walk out. Let the Holy Spirit get you up. Let him beam you up on his own. Let you get up on your own. No, let the Holy Spirit get you up after you've been on your knees begging God for understanding about me and what I'm doing. Because I see you still, still not getting it. Still not getting it. God first, Jesus is Lord, and the Holy Spirit is a comforter, a watchman, a warrior. He fights for those he left and calls on Jesus. Now, y'all have to know here like you gangster and you know, all big and bad. Prove that. And while you proving it, how you living and how's that working for you? Because God... God has me in your life for a reason. Don't take it for granted and miss the whole point. Why you being selfish in your own ambition? Even that's evil. That's why you need to humble yourself and give God your ambition. So it be called blameless on the way to him and his purpose for your, for your life to bless others. Okay? We're all, we're all workmanship. Living epistles. Um, moving love letters. It's, we are the actual letters and words to this holy Bible. See, remember I told y'all in my old video about two, three years ago. This is a forever book. It's an eternal book. 
It's not just uh, uh, Old Testament. It's the New Testament and the Old Testament for a reason. Mm -hmm. Okay? See, in the darkness, everything is off. Okay? Notice Old Testament, New Testament, where old and new. O N. When you when you reading this holy Bible, you are on, not up. And you turn that light on. In the midst of you being the earth, you understand what I'm saying? Like if you in the dark, right? Can't see nothing. You don't know where you going. You stumbling, fumbling, falling, messing it. The word of God is a light in front of you. In your pathway. It says that. Yeah, yeah. Y'all too busy hating yourself. You don't give yourself peace enough to read. Oh, I'm saved by my own obedience to God. Yeah. And you know what obedience is because you obey evil stuff. The devil tell you to do. And I'm telling you, put that down and walk back and run back to the light. Why you got to change? Man, run back to the light, man. Please, run back to Jesus Christ and stop playing with your life with that demonic devil. Y'all, y'all gonna get it. Man. Everything you doing is gonna be turned back to you. Cut that cunning and craftiness out. You know, that scheming and plotting out. Man. Your whole blueprint gonna kick your own behind because you're not, you're not doing right by God's people. Man. He don't like that. Man. And you know that. Man. Cook! No, you gotta say more, man. I'm gonna leave that white way with that. I love y'all. Put the guns down. Put the guns down, man. Put the Holy Bible app. Oh, thank you, Lord. Just keep reading, keep flying up. Cause these fake demons out here, they not even good at scaring you. It's, it's you forgot who God is. That's all. That's all that is, son. If you scared about anything, you need to go back to your heavenly father. Yeah? He created you in love. Power is in love, not force of evil. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Cookies, peace. One love, peace. And another one, be good. And another one.